The royal family also went to church this morning. Easter Sunday at Windsor Castle is an annual tradition, though this year, as CTV's Heather Butts explains, there was one very notable absence. Easter Sunday at St. George's Chapel is a fixture in the royal's calendar. This year, Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge, along with two of their children, led the way, his grandmother absent, though not surprising to some given her recent mobility issues. I think we're now in a phase where the Queen is largely the captive of her own castle, and she really is only going to be able to do things when the kind of things really align in terms of how she's feeling that day and her mobility. Public outings have become rare. She cut back on doctor's orders after spending a night in hospital in October and also had COVID earlier this year. It does leave one very tired and exhausted, doesn't it? This horrible and pandemic. On Monday, Her Majesty looked well when she spoke to a former COVID patient and frontline workers at a London hospital. But on Thursday, she missed another important event for the royal family, the Maundy service. For the first time, she was represented by the Prince of Wales. She doesn't want to appear in public as anything other than what we have largely remembered in terms of her ability to walk. The Queen did get a visit from her grandson Thursday. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan stopped at Windsor Castle on their way to the Invictus Games. It's their first joint visit to the UK since leaving royal duties behind two years ago. There's obviously some very, very serious um, disagreements and a bit of a rupture in that family, which, you know, will take time and will take effort on all sides. And this is merely the first step in that direction. The Queen will be celebrating her 96th birthday in a few days, and she is just weeks away from marking her platinum jubilee, 70 years on the throne. Omar. Those celebrations around the corner now in early June. Heather, thank you.